just to give a little more of a look into what I'm doing with this uh, review of the mass production copy. I'm going to go through one dual deck. This is the Knight's dual deck, Knight's playmat, play mat. and this is a spreadsheet that I use to make sure that everything is correct. So, this came last night. It's the Knight's dual deck. So this is 108 cards, which are all the cards needed to play a um, one-on-one -on -one Havoc matchup. You can get the Quick Start Guide by joining our email list. You can get it for free. Uh, and then, obviously, if um, you um, want to print that out, you can print that out. So what we do is, what I'm doing, is I'm going through all the contents of the Knight's deck to make sure it's got everything it's supposed to have. So this is the first time I'm looking at this mass production copy, so hopefully it's correct. Here's the tuck box. Good to go. All right. Knight's has two archetypes. Man arms and the half sword knight. Yep. Man arms and the half sword knight are there. It comes with two class cards. And because this is the knight's dual deck, the class cards are both for knights. Class cards tell you everything about the class and you know the great blows and hand size and so forth. The knights in this dual deck are prowess four, comes with two prowess four cards. Great. And so far, so good. Comes with one, two, three, four, five abilities. Sweep the leg, wrestler, polearm expert, strike weakest point, and half sword. Yep. Good to go. Comes with, for weapons, the broadsword, warhammer, and spear. Here's the broadsword, the warhammer, there's the spear. Excellent. Two chain plates, two great helms, two gauntlets, two greaves, one pull arm as shield. So all the armor is there. Pull arm as shield. You know you have shields, which everybody knows what those are. You can also use a pull arm as a shield. So a pull arm is a length six weapon or higher. So in this fight, it would be the warhammer, or the which is a length six, or the spear. And what that does is that gives the fighter who's using a pull arm a minus one passive shield protection during the pause. Can't be used, doesn't get anything for shield parry, doesn't get any special protection for missiles. The active um, uh, defense for a pull arm is the half parry. But if it's used two handed, it can get that pull arm protection. All right, so now we're on to the. Combat action cards. It's got six thrusts. One, two. Yep. It's got four smashes. Eight great blows. So remember, in Havoc, the combat action cards tell you what the fighter uh, is doing with its combat action. And great blows are something that is uh, unique to a knight. A knight can use a great blow for any type of weapon, right? So that's the uh, what could be used for the warhammer, could be used with a spear, right? Um, but what's kind of the difference? So a spear could be used to thrust, right? Or it could be used to great blow. Thrust or great blow. We got the spear. Right? Spear, thrust, half parry with the spear. So with a knight, you can do a great blow. If you're a barbarian, you can do a ferocious blow. So what does that mean? Well, let's see, for a thrust against chain and plate, 
has a minus three to hit and does minus red, minus two in damage. So that means the spear, which ordinarily you need an 11 plus to hit, the base roll to hit is 11 plus, plus zero for using the spear. So it's a minus three against chain and plate. So that 11 goes to a 14. The damage for a spear is uh, ordinarily pretty big. So for if it's used with two hands, it's uh, seven. And then um, it would do minus red, minus two. So minus red for the spear, the red damage of the spear is two. So minus red minus two is four. So that seven points of damage gets knocked down to everybody real quick. What is seven minus four? It's three. So, you know, it becomes a little, almost a little pinprick. Um, with the great blow, it's actually uh, comparable, right? In terms of what the damage would be there. Notice though, whoops, yeah, I'm looking at the card, not at the screen. So the great blow, you see it's comparable. But now look at what the Warhammer does. So Warhammer is a smash attack, right? And smash attacks tend to do better against heavy armor. So slightly better to hit chance and slightly better damage chance. Now you gotta also keep in mind there are other aspects of the um, cards, right? Because the great blow, even though it, that's what it, it triggers out there on the on the um, armor card, great blows give everybody a plus one to hit. They also do plus one on the red die and they do plus red damage, right? So if a great blow with a spear landed, right? There's the spear. If great bow with the spear landed, it would do plus uh, one on the red die. So instead of eight to ten doing a red die, it's seven to ten, which is pretty pretty big. And then it's plus red damage. So if it, it hit, that seven automatically becomes nine, right? And against chain and plate, it does minus red minus two, so that. 7 goes down, instead of it being from 7 to 3, it, it goes from 9 to 5. Then if it's a red hit, like if it was actually, a, uh, well, this would be an 8, 9, or 10 with a, with a great blow, then um, it would add another 2 to, to that. But I digress. So what else we got? Come, the knight's great uh, knight's deck comes with an artful thrust, three artful thrusts, and a heavy smash. So that's all there. Attacks are all good to go. So on the defense side, comes with four blade parries. One, two, three, four. Good to go. Comes with one, three half parries. One, two, three. Good to go. Comes with seven dodges. Good to go. A fencer's blade parry, an angled haft parry. Two artful dodges. Good to go. Card counts are all good. On the defense. So the pauses comes with 12, uh, 18, 23. One, two, three, Good to go. To keep the cards for the dual deck within the 108 card cap, you have a limited set of wound and bash cards. You get six, six wound, and six bash. These are all standard across all the dual decks. It's these same six. So if you have a couple dual decks, you can take um, cards from uh, multiple dual decks and shuffle them together and you get a, a bigger dual deck um, wound or bash uh, deck. The 
difference you'll see is that it's such as limited selection, right? You've only got six different types. That's different from, there are 24 separate uh, wound cards, total of 48, you know, because you double them in each, in the, in the main set. So you have a, a, a longer, or excuse me, a larger range of bad things that can happen. You have tactic cards, close the footwork, two closes. Yep, got the initiative card, short. Fastest fighter, damage procedure. Um, damage procedure, let me just park on that real quick. So we give you these little cards, which kind of are cheat sheets on how to do to hit, how to figure out the damage. It's a uh, melee card. So the tactic cards, these are foot, this is footwork. You play this and a combat action card on the first impulse of a combat round. And then this will tell you, you know, close against, if your, part, if your opponent keeps distance, you know, it tells you what the adjustment is in the first impulse and tells you what the um, distance and initiative impact would be on the second impulse. Initiative card, this is what you pass back and forth to show who has the chance to strike first. Short contact, out of reach, or long. This is just distance so the players can keep track of Distance and initiative state, it's the same third sort of thing, just so you can keep track of, of who has the uh, initiative state card. Oh, excuse me, the initiative card. So that's all good. So this was the mass production copy uh, review check for the Knight's Dual Deck. So I've already gone through a couple of the others. So at, right now, everything is looking error-free and good to go. And can't wait to get this to people. Thanks.